Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how do you perform a unit test in SSIS and this is the second part of the video. So recently I got multiple requests to make a video on the unit test. So this is my second video and I will share the link of the first video in the description of the video so that you can watch that video before watching this particular video. So there are different type of SSIS packages and the method to do the unit testing of each package will be different according to the requirement of the package. So for example, we can have an SSIS package those load data into a data warehouse. So the testing of that particular package will be done differently because if you are loading the data into data warehouse, then we need to make sure that the data is loaded correctly into the dimension table and into the fact table. So we need to make sure that our SSIS package is capable of doing the full load as well as the incremental load whenever is required. And now second type of package can be like those import data from CSA files and load the data into the SQL database. One type of uh, QA can be like we need to make sure that the data is loaded correctly, all data got loaded and for example data should not have any leading or trailing spaces or it should not have the double spaces or maybe it should not have the spatial characters. So there are different type of unit testing that can be done and for example if we have another packages like SSIS package those export data from SQL server tables to CSU files or Excel file or migrate data from on-premises SQL server to Azure. So we can also check like if the data got exported correctly if the number of records got exported correctly and if the even the data actually exported correctly and into the correct format or not. So all these things we can do and suppose if you have SSIS package those back up a bunch of SQL server databases from one server to another server then we can make sure that the package is able to back up the correct database and is able to restore the database the MDF and LDF files correctly into the respected folders on the destination server. So we need to check all the different type of packages and the unit testing will be done differently according to each package. So if you have seen the first video then in that particular video I have shown you like how we can check if there are some leading and trailing spaces, how we can check if there are some double spaces in the data, how we can check if there are some null values in the data and something like this. So let's continue that particular video here. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got an address table here and I will share the code to create this particular table and I will also share all these queries with you. I, I actually shared all these queries like the create statement of the address table and insert data script of the address table and all these script you can download from the link in the description of the video. Here we got an address table, Okay, it contains 1000 records and now there were three cases that there should not be any leading or trailing spaces in the data, there should not be any double spaces in the data, there should not be any null values in the data. Okay, So I had shared the queries like how we can check if there are some leading or trailing spaces in the data. So if you execute this particular query, so it will show you any leading or trailing spaces. So right now there are five leading or trailing spaces in the first name, there are two leading or trailing spaces in the last name and addresses is good and country is good. So if the value is zero, it means that there is no leading or trailing space in this particular data. So in my last video, I have shown you how you can check the data like what kind of issue is there, but I had not shown you like how we can fix the data. So in this particular video, I will show you how we can actually fix the data as well and how I personally fix it. Okay. So for example, if you see there are some leading or trailing spaces. So for example, if you want to see the actual data, for example, what is the issue in the last name? So for two records, there are some leading or trailing spaces. So if you copy the last name from here, so you can see there is some trailing space in this particular data. Okay. And similarly, if you copy the last name, so there are some trailing space in the last name as well. So how we can fix this particular data? So if you see that in the first name and last name we had the issues so we can write an update statement here like update table address set first name equal to l trim r trim first name where and then you can copy everything from here after when and till here and then you can paste it here okay and before running this update statement what actually you can do you can start a transaction here begin run and you can execute it so that if anything got updated accidentally then you can roll back it okay so now you can double check it like if there is 
a transaction already there in this particular session so if you execute this one turn count so if there won't be any transaction then the value of the turn count will be zero and if there will be some transaction then the value will be greater than zero so right now there is one transaction available in this particular session so i can execute this particular query so it should update five records okay so it is saying that incorrect sentence near the keyword where okay so actually there should be one more bracket here and now i can rerun this particular query so five rows affected so it means that the data for the first name got corrected and i can recheck the data now so now you can see that first name got corrected successfully so it means that it was successful and similarly i can fix the last name as well that uh, i can run another query here so you can write multiple queries and then execute them so now if you rerun this trim query so now all the data got corrected successfully so what i can do i can run a commit here because the data will be committed to the table and in case the data did not updated correctly and i missed maybe some where clause and i updated all the data then what i can do i can just run a rollback query here rollback so it will roll back all the updates that was done okay so now there is no further transition in this particular session so i can cut this particular query from here and now i can paste it here and if i check the data for the double spaces so now you can see that in the address there are three records where there are some double spaces in the address and if you want to check like what are those records so you can see you can copy this particular query from here paste it here so now you can see that th this is one space and this is two space so it means that there are two spaces here similarly if you copy another one so this is one space two space yeah there are two spaces here and actually in the third line there are multiple spaces one space two space three space okay so i need to fix this particular data so what i can do i can just write an update statement here update address set address actually the name of the table and the name of the column is same i can use a replace function here because replace function can replace one value with another value replace address one space two space yeah so i can replace two space with one space i can put one more space here so now it will replace three spaces with one space okay and i can put another where clause and now i can replace one space two space two space with one space okay so i think this should be fine and i can put a where clause where so i can copy the where clause from here where address like double space so i can paste the code here and if i check the trend count so at the moment there is no transaction so i can start a transaction update the data here three records got updated and now i can just rerun the double space query right now the address has got fixed here so this is good and i can run the commit statement here so this was about fixing the double spaces and now the third point was that we can check if there are some null values in the data so we can execute this particular query so now you can see that there are 10 records where are some null values in the country data okay so if i execute this particular query so now you can see that for the country column there are some null values here okay so how we can fix this particular query i can cut this particular thing from here and paste it here i can start a transaction begin run and then i can update the data like update address set country equal to blank where country is null okay and i can execute this particular query so it has fixed the 10 records and now if i will rerun the null query so it has not found any null values in the country column and uh, the data seems good here and i can check the value of the turn counts and one transaction is still running so i can run a commit here so the data will be updated to the table correctly okay and if i rerun the turn count so right now there is no active transactions in this particular session so this is how you can do the unit testing of your ssis packages actually the data in the sql server tables and you can verify if the package ran fine and if the data got loaded correctly and this is the second video in this particular tutorials and i will try to create more videos on the unit testing of the ssis packages and the data in the sql server tables so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button 
do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much